unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Seth Rollins turn on the shield this past Monday on Raw. And since then, there's been a lot of news reports out there on the internet that have, you know, and also not just, not just news reports, just fan speculation that maybe Seth Rollins, you know, maybe there's more to this, this, you know, there's more to this turn. And, uh, we pretty much know why now, now though, why he turned now, what it's going to lead to, we don't know yet. That's all speculation. But I'm going to reveal here, why did Seth Rollins turn in the shield? It's pretty simple. Ratings. The ratings for Raw the past couple of weeks before this past Monday's Raw had been poor. So, Visek Man thought, hey, let's have Seth Rollins do a shock heel turn. A swerve, almost like a sw uh, Vince Russo-esque swerve. And turn on the shield, shock everybody, get the internet buzzing, get everybody buzzing. And I, when it happened, I was shocked. I just, I mean, I knew eventually, look, eventually the shield is going gonna, is gonna to break up. But it's just right after they destroyed Evolution, it was like they did all that work to get them over. And then the next night, they just have Seth Rollins turn heel. And there were, when they decided this... When Vince decided this, he decided the weekend of Extreme Rules. It was before, it was like either on Saturday or Sunday, he decided that Rollins was going to turn heel. So this was a quick decision. It was made very recently, you know, made very recently. This was not several months in, several months in advance. Like they thought about it like two or three months ago. And there's now speculation, though, that people are saying, oh, Seth Rollins, he actually may be a, like a double agent it may be like the cm punk ecw new breed storyline where he was actually not a member of the new breed he joined the new breed in ecw he didn't see it i was i didn't actually i wasn't actually watching ecw at the time but i did follow the storyline i read the results and stuff like that but and i saw clips but uh from what i understand he joined the new breed in ecw and he immediately was obvious that he was not going to be a true member of the group, um, and he was uh, basically you know, a double agent. You know, he was just he was it was a he was getting on the inside so he could destroy it from the inside. We've done this so many times. You know, this is not this this that something similar to this would be the Daniel Bryan joining the White family. That was a thing where he just he did turn heel. He did become a member of the White family, but it just it. They decided to turn him back babyface sooner than they wanted him them to turn him back babyface because the he was too much of a babyface. Also, the week the, the there was also this this also during that time, like the two weeks after they turned him heel to join the Wide family, they they had that yet the yes chance at that basketball game, and WWE thought, oh my god, you know he's a he, he's a baby he's a heel. What are we doing? We got to turn back baby face. They did it. And uh, they had that episode of Raw where he, he ended up getting a concussion in the match, the steel cage match. Um, and I can't remember who, who, who was against or what the deal with it was. But uh, at the end of the match, Daniel Bryan got top of, on top of the cage. And it was probably the biggest yes chant besides WrestleMania he's ever gotten. So it ended up working out. But it was still ridiculous that he actually became a heel, and like two weeks later he was back babyface. And it wasn't working. The whole the whole thing wasn't working with him turning heel, turning joining the Wyatt family. It was a bad idea, but it ended up working out in the end. But uh, anyways, back to this whole Seth Rollins Shield storyline. Um, you know, my opinion on it is he a double agent? Is it an inside? Is he just trying to get? Here's the problem with it. If Batista wouldn't have left, I would say, okay, maybe it's a possibility. But Batista left. They were down to two men. Why would he... And they just destroyed... The night before the Shield at... Extre at not Extreme Rules. I'm talking Payback. Forget about what I said Extreme Rules. I meant Payback the entire time. I keep getting you know these B, these B pay-per-views. I get them all uh, mixed up. These crappy pay-per-views. And so, back to this. Uh, Seth Rollins heel turn here 
Um, basically, the yeah, the the shield they destroyed evolution of payback. Why would they need to then jo- have one of the members? Why would one of the members want to join evolution? They were they you know the only reason why would be for money, for money and power. That's the only reason. The only reason why one of them would join evolution because triple h in storyline in in real life he has tons of power he's a coo or whatever the heck he is on at least storyline so he he still has a lot of power he's the authority he's part of the authority and so it makes sense from that standpoint but it hasn't been explained yet i'm sure they're going to probably explain some of it on raw this coming coming week but i don't know it's just I just, I just felt like it just didn't work, in my opinion. I think that if done different, a little bit differently, maybe with Ambrose would have done it. If they just wouldn't have had destroyed the Evolution the night before, and Batista wouldn't have quit WWE, if he wouldn't have quit just a few hours earlier, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad. It wouldn't have been so... It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad turn. The crowd did react to it. They were sold out chance, stuff like that. But it just was, it just was somewhat poorly executed. And it just should have been done. It just was bad timing, to be honest with you. It was just a bad timing. It was bad timing. So, uh, is it an inside job? Is he going to be going back to the Shield? I say no. A lot of people are hoping that this is just... That's what it is. I don't think so. I think he's going to stay with Evolution. I don't think this this evolu- this new evolution with Seth Rollins in it is going to last very long. Um, they know, I don't think they even said that this is evolution. This is, still is evolution. They never, I don't think they have even said that. I'm not even sure. I haven't watched that SmackDown yet from, from Friday, so I don't know. Um, but anyways, is you know what is your opinion? Do you think this whole Seth Rollins thing was it? Did you like him turning? Do you wish the Shield was still together? Do you think he's going to go back to the shield? Do you think it's all a swerve? He's 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 in on he's the shield is in on this whole thing, and uh, they 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 wanted him to, to do it so they could. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> the whole thing is is a mess. The whole thing is is crazy. It's a mess. It was so surprising. Um, the rate was the ratings for it really weren't that good. I mean the raw. I think it was like a two nine rating. I think for this week's past week's RAW, and what happened was was that the first hour got like a three eight, I believe. The second hour got like a four four, and then the last hour got like a three nine. Uh, like that's in millions of viewers, like three point nine million viewers. So the last hour where he did turn, that got the lowest rating. One of the you know, like we got a got a lower rating in the second hour. So. He really wasn't that big of a... Maybe this week will be a bigger rating because people want to see the follow-up, but they've already kind of followed it up on SmackDown to a degree. Rollins wrestled on the show, on the SmackDown. So, we'll see what happens, but I don't know. I don't I don't really... I don't really I don't really know what's going to happen with this. Maybe there's going to be a bunch of more swerves, but I think it's just going to be... Rollins is going to stay heel. I don't think he's going back to, going back to the Shield. 